my boy Null. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Damn, if we actually make it into the next one. So, Dickers. So I don't know anything about Dickers, but he is a like a like a pet of like PPP. <laughs> PPP hates this fucking guy. He's a um, pet. I have no of idea PPP. why. <laughs> and um <laughs> I think that the reason why is that he is he's like unhumble. He has um never in his life uh been brought so low that he can't recover from it. And his obsession is with DSP. So he has like he has like a huge from what I understand, he has a huge hate boner of DSP. You know even though they're both like Maybe, I don't know, this is too crazy of an idea, but maybe, you know, if 8-Bit Eric wants to fucking, like, troll RTU, he could dress up as the Iron Sheik. <laughs> and then it's like, and then say the famous words, I'm gonna fuck your ass, and then you're gonna be humble. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> like, fat losers. Um, He insists that he's better than DSP. That's what I, that's all I know. Um, apparently his big drama that happened recently was that PPP said something, made like a joke. Either PPP or Andy Worski made like a joke about how uh, his, his, Dicker's ex-wife, he had like pictures of his ex-wife's daughter or something on his Google Drive. And uh, for some reason he <laughs> went out and just, Acknowledge this. He said, yes, <laughs> I've been hacked. Somehow Andy Worski has hacked my computer, hacked my Google Drive, and found the pictures of my ex-wife's teen daughter in a bikini on my Google Drive. This is a serious crime. This is a, a, a felony hacking offense. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is a tragedy. And he, he didn't have any reason to confirm this, but it instantly made him look extremely creepy to do so. <laughs> and then I think the other thing that happened is that he then changed his story and he came up with this convoluted cockamamie defense about how he has like a, like a separate phone for two-factor authentication. And what happened is, is that when Andy Worski hacked him, his separate phone um, was on a nightstand. And I guess it buzzed. And it was like, do you want to let Andy Worski see the pictures of your ex-wife's teen daughter? Um, <laughs> and it, because it buzzed when it did this, it fell off and landed into a shopping bag. And this, I think, I mean, based off what PPP and Andy Worski say, this could be complete bullshit. I'm willing to accept that, <laughs> this entire story. But allegedly, what Dicker said after that was that because the phone landed in the shopping bag, uh, it accidentally pressed the button to allow Andy Worski to access his Google Drive. But this was also like another tacit admission that he has like a secret secondary phone specifically for this Google Drive to like that only he uses <laughs> just that that also stores his teen daughter's or teen um the bikini pictures of his of his ex-wife's daughter on it. Uh, it's a very weird progression of events. Um and it has brought more attention onto Review Tech who apparently repeatedly threatens to stop streaming like every week. Like the, his streams are mostly just retirement announcements. And then he just makes another one and just ke keeps doing this and has been doing this for years. Um, but he's been melting down. So we have a couple lineup uh, posts of Dickers. Uh, these are him being tough on post or on, uh, on uh, Twitter, him acting like a tough guy. Uh, and then he has a feud with his editor, and why somebody with as little content as him needs an editor, I don't fucking know. But <laughs> let's check it out. Hi, Eric. I know you're a fucking idiot, so I'm going to explain this to you really slowly. Listen. Asking for information is public things. Videos. Things that are on Kiwi forums. Stupid shit that you've done. Yes, I want your blood type, Eric. That's what I want. Or I want to find that you have a stupid fucking book which someone told me <laughs> about your wrestling career. That's you know, I think of all things that really drove me to hate Nick, or Nick, Rich. <laughs> Displaced hatred for a second there. 
Uh, the hatred the... is so large and like <laughs> swirling that like you just hate all of these people simultaneously. Oh yeah, I've got well, a long I mean, hate Rich list. Rich is big enough. I mean, Rich is big enough to be a fucking black hole. He just sucks up everyone else. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> oh man, he's osmosising the uh <laughs> the hatred from other people <laughs> but seriously so, though my biggest my biggest pet peeve my biggest hatred for him the one thing that like he did that just drove me nuts and furious with rage is this fucking squirrel me- meeting call of a goddamn laugh <laughs> that's so petty i love it <laughs> see now i don't know what i like more the fact that the lie is just so incredibly bad, or the fact that he's telling the truth and God hates him that much <laughs> that all these like infinitesimally impossible things just lined up perfectly that it happened this way. <laughs> like I don't know what's funnier to me, just the fact that the lie is that bad, or if Rich is telling the truth and he's just hated by God. Seriously, though. Like... <laughs> That's a bad recording of one. Let me get a better recording. I, uh... Wait, what the fuck did you say this was again? Squirrel mating calls. <laughs> it reminds me of his laugh. <laughs> Sad thing is, though, that squirrels are kind of cute and rich, isn't it? Like, well, like, I, I mean, mean, here's the thing. But they're both derivatives of rats. <laughs> Well, well, I, get I mean, it. they're both and... pests, so they have to be shot with a gun. Well, that, like, you know, they, they bury nuts everywhere and they forget them, just like the thumb drive. So, I mean, it tracks. <laughs> but it's ironic you said squirrel. Because <laughs> there, there was a squirrel that was, like, run over by a car. And we were walking, and my kid just looks down at it and goes, Oh, Dad, there's a squirrel carcass. I'm like, what the fuck, kid? <laughs> like, and then he just, he just brings it up so casually, like, yeah, there's a squirrel carcass. Don't like seeing that one. <laughs> and he just kept going. And it's like, what the fuck, kid? I wonder if we could arrange the same type of kiss for Rich. That's like me saying I have a music career. Cry more. Yeah, but you try to. Hi, everybody. That's the, that's the thing. You think you're some hot-ass fucking music maker. Yeah. Like, you got in a feud with a fucking rap artist who told you to take down your fucking derivative shit. And he was like, no, dude, I made it better. So like, no, you now also <laughs> add to the Captain Planet Tony Hits? I was going to say. Because yeah. <laughs> I know your feelings on Tony Hits, Patrick. He's literally <laughs> up there with well, Rich. Uh, uh, well, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. Is 42 a good number or a bad number? <laughs> I don't know. I could get the color index out and we could <laughs> we could break down his name. <laughs> which, which, which crayon do I have to eat in order to see God? What <laughs> 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 <Like> crayon? <laughs> Richard Review Tech USA here. And I see many people are concerned about my mental health, my well-being, and want to see if I'm okay. Okay, chat, this is what happens when you cry wolf. I said that he is laying down for this, obviously. I said it's very remarkable that he is trying to be an internet tough guy, but he is literally laying down to do so. It's a, it's a bit much. And then I pointed out that he stood up for this one, so now you know shit's serious. He took the gloves off. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Richard Review Tech USA here. And I see many people are concerned about my mental health, my well-being, and want to see if I'm okay. I am okay. I just had a lot to say today that I've held back for about two months. I also see people saying they're concerned and that I'm a drug addict. I think the concern is feigned, so this is for them. This is hilarious. He's toking. And this guy's a regular Ralph Amell. Suck my <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's tough. <laughs> Someone chat. Yeah, I knew Noel would pick up on that. <laughs> it's the foodie beauty angle. I was gonna make that reference, but I didn't want to bring up foodie beauty on my own. Yeah, this is what she does. She would make all these videos oh, ranting about eaters. I mean, no. like... <laughs> may... He's not foodie beauty. He's feudy beauty. <laughs> feudy beauty. Oh.
<laughs> like I, just, like, I, was, fucking... I was like, I don't want to bring up Fruity Beauty, but like, <laughs> he has a segment and covers her. <laughs> yes. Like, you're you're pretty intertwined with the Fruity and Beauty, my friend. Like, I just didn't think he no... wanted that much overlap. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how can he help? He's got nothing but, like, overlap. <laughs> well, yeah, like, we have the foodie beauty thing now with the angle of the camera and, like, the rage clips like this. No, we dude, can like, add like, that to the archon. Yeah. No, think about it. Like, if like if he went skydiving and he deployed the parachute, <laughs> he'd have a second backup chute just flopping up into his face. <laughs> I was going to say, does he have to have the chute? <laughs> let him on a plane. Well, I mean, that depends. Can he land on his ass? <laughs> Usually when you skydive, you put your head down and you're, you know, going towards the ground. You don't try to do a cannonball Oh, just it. like his career? <laughs> head down into the ground just like his career. <laughs> head okay, down well, into the ground, yes. <laughs> makes sense. Hello? Um, but Rich has mastered this. Uh, he has mastered the, uh, the, the pillow angle. Oh, no. No, we're back on the No. Pillow. He got tired. <laughs> After that big toke, he's like, ah, oh, fuck. I gotta lay down. <laughs> you leaked a Discord message that was obviously going to get leaked anyway. Yeah, it's a new era of Review Tech USA, where there's no reviewing tech, and it's mostly internet blood. <laughs> the great news is there was no reviewing tech for here. <laughs> Uh, there's not really much in the way of blood sports either. No. <laughs> uh, situation no. normal, all fucked up. The blood is probably all stuck in that clot that's going to go to his harder brain. The blood is all his. To the all brain. His. The stroke might. No, like, hopefully it goes to the brain. The stroke might help him. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh my God. This is Reveal Chat USA. <laughs> yeah. The, the voice he comes, the out, confidence. he comes out basically like Jack Scalfani now. Like, oh, like fuck. That's somebody we should have a stream. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's we've funny got, as shit. We, we've already got like the Captain Lolcal meme going with him. It's like he'd be Christopher Reeves at that point. <laughs> oh, one could only hope. <laughs> Blood sports. And people like you are in my sights. Good luck with that one. I'm not Phil. I thought you try aiming down a scope with those glasses mm, in the mirror. That's true. Phil can stand up. Phil can sit on a couch when he does his videos. This guy's too fat and retarded. Can he <laughs> can he just fight Andy Worski? That'd be a pretty good toss up. Who would win? Andy Worski or this guy? Like fighting? This guy, Andy. I mean, this guy's pretty big. <laughs> Andy Worski isn't like a crippled old man. <laughs> it's a pretty it's pretty fair. Whoever has stuff on any of these assholes, if you don't mind, no one is required to do anything. It'll just be There's appreciated. It's funny. By all means, post it here. You could DM it to me if you're not comfortable. I understand that as well. Um, Wait, hold up. I have a question. Not... Who are the two motherfuckers who hearted that? <laughs> one of them does it during the video. <laughs> well, it's probably um, his alt accounts. That don't exist. Oh man! <clears throat> like the thumb drive. Hey, Dark Side. Funny story. I destroyed my ACL, and I've got really bad fucking uh, cartilage and everything. Like I really messed up my knee bad. Uh, I'm still able to function as a normal person. You don't see me threatening to dox people or anything else. I know that's not what you're gonna get. I'm just being pedantic. <laughs> no, no, I, it makes sense because, like, like you know, Dark Side says, like he's just getting fatter and fatter. But then, what's the excuse for like, yeah, the lack of intelligence? <laughs> did, he, did he tear his brain stem from thinking too hard? <laughs> like, oh, we'd have to have proof of that. <laughs> like, 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 that's the issue. It's like I understand that you know maybe he's not mobile, but like, yeah, what's the rage for then? <laughs> like, like that, that explains the the weight and the lack of mobility, but it doesn't explain like nearly the other ninety percent of his personality. <laughs> oh, this gets funny. This gets really funny. <laughs> Comfortable, I understand that as well. Um, I'm not holding back anymore. The ship is sinking, and man, I'm gonna stir up everything while it's sinking. That's an interesting. I guess he's hurting for money or something. Oh, someone. 
Would you mind? I mean, that's me being a fat, lazy fuck. I could do it myself. Go to Kiwi Farms. If someone could send me a link to that, that would be fantastic. KiwiFarms.st. There you go, buddy. I am going to make on YouTube, not outside of YouTube. I just need to keep saying that because everyone on Twitter thinks I'm going to go bridge diving tonight. I am going to make his (laughs) life on YouTube a living hell just by watching him and roasting the shit out of him. I refrained from doing it because I didn't want what happened on Twitter today to happen. A little late for that now, though. Hi, Eric. You're going to wish that you never, ever did what you did. All the fucking... Me holding back and trying to have rapport is now out the window. Well, I mean, first off... He should just join the forum. Go ahead. Rich, first off, it's like, number one... He has to have a reason to wish for that, and you're giving him none of it. In fact, he's probably <laughs> wishing for you to fuck up even more like you're doing. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I wanted to point out, too, I was about to exactly say what Darkseid just did. He sounds like a villain. He literally sounds like a Dragon Ball Z villain. Like, I'm going down, but you don't even know a fraction of my power. I must now unleash it all before you, Goku. <laughs> like, like he's literally going, like, he's literally, like, taking his autism to, like, Super Saiyan level 3. Well, imagine, like... <laughs> imagine threatening well... all of this, and then your evidence is a Godwinson video from a year ago. A call to action, according to him, that was a fucking fart in the wind, and then making fun of fucking 8-bit Eric's wrestling. That was just proves well, that eight bit Eric has hours. more mobility than him. Yes. Well, yes. I just I just want to know, like, what kind of fucking DBZ villain would he be? He'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like Fat Majin Buu, but with like the personality of like maybe like an autistic Frieza. I was gonna say uh, an obese Frieza. <laughs> See, yeah, basically, yeah, like so, like Majin Buu and Frieza did the fusion dance. Hmm. Oh my god. There we go. But yeah, it, it's just... This is where it gets funny. He should just join the forum. Is he too fat to do that? How do I email this guy? Hold on. <laughs> Google.com. Is Christ no? You tech USA YouTube. Okay. Two more links. I need an email address. Sign in to see his email address. Can someone sign in to... Look, I'm going to post this in the kit. No, I'll post this in the Rumble chat. Sign into this and tell me what email address is in the, the about us. Like, just copy it and paste it into the chat. Just do it real quick. I'll send him an email. He's too much of a tough guy to join the forum. No, 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 no. He'll feel better once I personally invite him. <laughs> I open up my uh, I, quick. I can you imagine that getting a personal gay invite? Fat from Reef at Gmail. Okay. Yes. Two. Should have known that my chat is completely fucking useless. <laughs> RTU advertising YT. Okay. Do take you. <laughs> I love how the first email address he Ad gets is gay fat retard at gmail.com. <laughs> you think he checks this dot com? This is you know, he game. created that <laughs> because he was called gay fat and retarded. <laughs> That's the part where like the bit becomes reality, like for a wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would mock you with the whole, like, exposed things, like, oh, Rich, you're such a gay, fat, retard, exposed. (laughs) .com? This is a really weird email. (laughs) Gmail. What should I say? I'm typing this on my phone so it can't be long-winded. I don't know how to type on my phone keyboard. Uh, Subject. Join. Yeah, Rich should join the farm so he can bring all of his chickens to play with. (laughs) Farms. Oh, it gets so much better from here on out. No, I instantly am regrets the this. owner. <laughs> you are personally invited. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty succinct. That's pretty good. All right, review Frieza USA. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know, I was thinking maybe he's like the obese version of Frieza from Team Four Star, where you know Goku refers to him as Freezer. <laughs> He's the abridged version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's like review Freezer USA. You know, that's the world. The double entendre of that. Like, I just, <laughs> I just love how he is the abridged version. He's not even good enough to be the real one. Uh, next, there's more to this. 
Uh, so this is. I Jay, mean, think about it. Like, I believe is the like guy that... the abridged one fits better because he's like full of himself to the point where he's like, you know, you feel the monkeys, you know. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense with the racism allegations too. Oh, God. Yeah, it's. I mean, it just like the way how they amped up Freeze's character and that fits Rich a lot better for this shit. <laughs> he's threatening in the other messages. Um, and he leaks the vo voice message where Rich is thinking about life ruination, which I assume means ruining the life of the guy. How do you have these many skeletons and with Jay screw up this badly and think this is going to end well for you? You know, I, I, I mean, look, I, like I said in the other, I could, you know, Jay could light my house on fire and people would be like, well, you fired him. But after like, the hate wave subsides, which generally it always does. You're going to look real fucking bad. That's another thing I could send to his employers now. And a uh, random concerned consumer of a film company that he may work for, um, they may want to see that. Remember how I said, like, when it comes to a pedophile, you can be, like, as much of a sociopath as you want, and, like, nobody's going to give you shit for it. Hmm. When, um... There are exceptions. People can be assholes, like, on their own. But when you, like, go out and you say, like, yeah, I'm going to ruin this guy's life. I'm going to go after his job. I'm going to send emails to his employers. I'm going to try to fuck with him. Um, I'm going to cross every line that I can. You're basically, like, inviting the devil. You're, like, saying, okay, well, I'm setting the rules of engagement. And the rules of engagement are that I will do literally anything that I want. And I will go after your supply lines. And I will... uh uh, fuck with random innocent people to try and get at you. Like, when you set that as the rules of engagement, uh, it gets pretty nasty pretty fast. Because there are people who uh, who are psychopaths, who are, like, dangerous people, and they enjoy your hurting people. Um, but they don't want to, they don't want to, like, they, they're pragmatic enough to know that just doing that to random people is um, bad. In the sense that they could get caught doing it, and it would make them look really bad, or it's just not fun. If there's not like a game to it, um, who will accept this kind of inv invitation to be like really, really uh, big assholes? Yeah. Hi, Rich. Hi. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm the guy that he just talked about. <laughs> oh my God. But, I, I, but like we've seen that happen to Ralph. Like, yeah. That's exactly what happened with Ralph. Like, and I also think that Noel's kind of right on the point there but i also think there are some people that are like virtuous sociopaths <laughs> you know what i mean like like i understand that i don't feel and that i you know can't, don't br mind bringing about the destruction of others and oh this guy has awkward pictures of his stepkids in there i will i have no problem destroying this man you what, know what like i mean like sure yeah, basically. <laughs> basically like like cyber punishers. <laughs> well now I'm curious, which do I fall under? <laughs> I don't know. It's a mix of the two. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Do you have you ever felt love? What's love? <laughs> <laughs> Describe this. <laughs> okay, well now I'm a little concerned because it's leaning one way that I was hoping that it didn't lean. Okay. Look, Rich, there are only two options. And one hand is bird feed, the other one is bird shot. <laughs> In my world, both hands have bird shot. <laughs> like you'll call of duty it but you have to like open the doors kind of like a vampire yeah uh r let me just read this hey let your audience talk about whatever they're also rich my editor is not allowed to talk about no he's not allowed to ask for crowdfunding on my fucking stream Is this what this is over? So his editor put in like, hey, I don't really get paid by this fat retard. If you want to like support me, you can support me this through this link. And then he's like, wait a second. You don't get to make money off of my videos. I, I need more weed money. So if you're going to put your ads on my videos, I'm going to like fucking ruin your life, bro. Is that what this entire thing is over? Fucking Coco. No, I'm not even going to. No, Jerry. Everyone has to call him Jeremy. I won't give it. I mean, his name, his last name is 
public, but I won't say it. No, I'm talking about Jeremy, a uh, former fan. I He's, uh, Chad is backing me up on this. This is like the most petty grievance that you could possibly have. Like if someone <laughs> is editing your videos for free and asks for like, a, I assume for free is like a fan. Cause he's saying he's not my editor. I didn't employ him. So I'm assuming that he's not getting paid. It was supposed to be like fan work. And he's like, well, you know, if I'm going to do this for free, I might as well ask for a little bit of money. Um, I assume he didn't make a single dollar off of this because who the fuck would pay a video editor of a channel you don't even like because he has no fans. Um, and now he's just going to completely burn his bridge and completely tank any opportunity he has to get more fan work for free. You know what I mean? It's a really, 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 really bad idea to go scorch earth on your own fans, buddy. I hate using that word of mine. That's my fucking character. I got the videos to prove it. Hate being that way. Get fucking rid of them, you weird dork. For your content, not all of it. We'll dedicate like 10 to 15 minutes to you. Also, uh, Jeremy forgot to say this. Get rid of fucking sexy Coco. You took my idea and ran with it. You don't even really like me anymore. I am going to call you out on every single stream until you get rid of Sexy Coco, you fucking cuck weirdo. I'm going after everybody today. You ain't safe for me. Get rid of Sexy Coco. You don't like me anymore. Get fucking rid of him, Jeremy. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I'm thankful. No, I would never want him to get a uh, bag of Coke with laced with fentanyl. I would never want that to happen. Right? You know, no. I just want to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Rich was like the biggest fucking lefty piece of shit during the whole George Floyd incident. Yeah. And he's like, you know, doing this ironic, oh, no, I don't want him to get fit. No, it's like, motherfucker. <laughs> like... Why won't you die, Andy? Why won't you die? <laughs> die, Andy, die. <laughs> Never has a more applicable thing been said. <laughs> no. How did he de how did he demolish me? By telling lies that aren't true? How was I demolished? I would like to know. He could come on here and, and tell me. I don't care. <laughs> I hope he I, I mean it would be a gosh darn shame. I mean the guy who made who made fun of my daughter to the point that his fat doughy fuck co-host winced. Nah. I truly do hope I would never want to see him overdose with foam coming out of his mouth and slowly die and suffer. I would never want to see that. Dude, this guy has potential. How many posts? How many threads? Only 48? This guy has the, the makings. This guy has all the right. He has, like, the, the wings of redemption, like, <laughs> internet tough guy. He's fat. Like, being God fat is, like, it. an automatic, like, 10 <laughs> points to being a low cow. Like, people just hate fat people. Um, the internet tough guy thing, like, the... We're, like all the, the like just, we're all in the same fucking brainwave at this point. Yep. Yep. Like, <laughs> fantasizing about people dying and shit is, like, impotent and, and cringe and gay and pathetic. That's also, like, a huge low cow trait. Like, Chris would do that, too, Christian. <laughs> it's, it's like, right, I want to tear that Clyde Cash like that. That's like when you're sitting there thinking, like, God, I wish I could just see him fucking choke to death. I wish I could see the light leave his eyes. Like that's the ultimate expression of impotence, because you're basically like if you if you really hate him that much to the point where you're like fantasizing about him dying, but you're not going to do anything about it. Like you're not going to go kill him. And that means that you're, like, super emotionally invested into this, but you're also so impotent that you just can't, like, man up and kill him. <laughs> so it's, like, a really pathetic thing. I don't have to explain it, but I, I wanted to elaborate. Um, yeah, this guy has some, has some has potential. I, I, but how did he, like, how did he stay under the radar for so long? Was he, like, a real channel at some point, and he's just, like, lost the plot after his second divorce? Like, what the fuck's happened? Jay uh, left obviously the guy doing Noel the content. <laughs> <laughs> the guy doing the I, content left. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I guess I, I thought Noel would know about all the little old cows. I guess he's never heard of the Book of Dickers. No, <laughs> no, but it's hilarious how his perspective is just completely changes slowly. <laughs> he goes, right. from, "No, let's invite this guy to 
oh, he has all the potential. <laughs> right. You can see some interesting posts on the forums now. <laughs> you know what? He wants them to come even more. Just propagate the content, sir. <laughs> right. Thank you, Null, for your sacrifice. Um, he's a flagon. Oh, there we go. It was boring. Flagging yeah, and doxing his critics. Just wait Jay? until Null, like, just wait until Null hears, like, the fucking, uh, like, Rich's past of defending uh, Keffels. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, only, <laughs> only for that one fucking video on his channel where he turns on him. Uh, oh, after man. like the Mudahar <laughs> video was made, it's like you know I've been thinking about this for a week, and it's like Rich, you recorded this the same day you posted it. <laughs> he is. He said he was making this video like a week ago, and it's yeah. like finally he gets it finished. It's Meanwhile, like... everybody knows. Everybody knows for the longest fucking time. Oh, Christ, it was like it, six or eight weeks that Mudahar. It, was you know what was Keppel's video. Yeah, you know what was funny is that new fucking studio room he made with the fucking projector screen. Yep. It, he was projecting his fucking desktop and you could see the <laughs> time and date in the fucking corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. He, he's a complete fucking idiot. He is. He is the most complete Jesus. of fucking idiots. Like, you can't this give him what... any charity because, no. like, <laughs> like, he immediately he tanks it. Though. He will do something to this... completely fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, look, this is why you shouldn't have fired Jay. He was your script writer. He was he was basically the guy who made your channel and owns it too. Um, he would have been able to spot the fucking you know time discrepancies. Yeah. Can you just imagine if it gets this petty that Jay reports him to the police and then literally just copyright strikes all of the channel? Oh, be like man. this is mine. Like Rich, you're, <laughs> you're not smart. You're you're like the you're like irony. Small... The irony of this will be that it all stems from him not f just firing the editor. Like you could have fired him. Even Jay said, you know what, you could have just fired me, but at least pay me. It all happened because he wanted to be a cheap fuck, which boils back to the big cheese thing. Yeah, like just full circle, bad business dealings, all of it. Yeah, I just, it doesn't... Well, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, Big Cheese had one thing going for him. Uh, he was black, and Rich was on his lefty arc at that point, so he couldn't be seen as racist for depriving, you know, reparations. <laughs> hard wrangled him. He's just pouring. He's always had low views. He's stayed on the radar because he's always been boring as fuck. Well, now's the time, bro. You're late into your life. You ain't got shit. Your fucking wife left you. I don't know if you have any kids. I hope not. But if you have any stepkids, they probably don't want anything to do with you. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, had... no. <laughs> Just wait until you wait until you delve into the lore. <laughs> no, my, my sweet summer child. Uh, uh, I, 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 I think we're kids. I think we're on track for having Noel making another appearance at Kino Casino to get the lowdown. Yes. That, and I can, I can eventually see him doing a person stream <laughs> on, on Ridge, because there's enough here for him to do a person stream. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, There is plenty. Oh, man. But... I hope he doesn't have any kids or stepkids. <laughs> well, he has a blind daughter that he supposedly admitted to made blind and he, he has a he maimed his drop own box. child he maimed his and own he, spawn <laughs> and, and he has a drop box full of his stepkids yes oh no you sweet summer child just wait till you read the lore oh man this is not even getting into the hacking arc <laughs> had this you've had this underlying current of being like a huge mega retard it's time to unleash that. It's time to harness being a fucking mega retard and just wait until we just got. wait until no like figures out or finds out <laughs> that he's been working with a felon that yeah. had thirty seven felonies. Yeah, deep down inside, as a mega retard, I'm rooting for this guy. I think he can do it. He's an underdog. He's an underdog, but we're kind of in like a lull right now. Um, people are willing well, to give okay, up. Okay, hold shot. up. We need to you know I mean? we need a change of terminology because I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to be dealing with fat retards on the internet, it shouldn't be underdog, it should be underhog. <laughs> and you know what, I was thinking about that actually, that you brought that up, GG. I think maybe he was feeling left out and wanted some felonies of his own. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, this guy, I think he can do it. I think if he goes in there and he plays his cards wrong and he fucks up everything and he acts like a huge retard, I think he's got what it takes to get featured this week even. He just has to... <laughs> oh no, just the lightest of digging. He has to pull a stunt that it can be easily understood by someone who's never heard of him before. Yeah, like draining yeah. a person's bank account. You know, like, you know, sending a computer that was hacked that was meant for DSP to somebody else, uh, this editor that he dislikes, and then tampering with the streams after it's been proven that he's had this computer before. There was no issues with the stream prior. In fact, anything that had to do with RTU prior to the firing was totally okay. Um, Or like a Dropbox full of children and stuff like that. Um, Claiming that people, you know, hacked stuff and everything else. Uh, Oh, God, there's, there's endless stuff. What what would you like, Null? <laughs> I mean, we're here to assist. I'm glad we can help. <laughs> the issue is, Null, it is hard to give you a starting point and an end point because it's just, there's, it's like if you were to walk into Chris Chan today. Yeah. Like, what, do, do we start you off at the beginning arc with Big Cheese? Or do we start you at, like, the massive part and then drip feed oh, you, the, like, the past? We, like... can, we can go well, all I mean, the you way don't back. even we start with to... Big Cheese. We can go to Blackbuster like, Video if we want to go into the yeah, beginning. No, Black, uh, yeah, no, Blackbuster uh, Black Critic. Plus, yeah, Critic. Yep. BBC. The first BBC. <laughs> the first one rich ever took yes <laughs> over a 500 hundred dollar sony camcorder yes i am not that kind of man i wouldn't laugh and sit there and eat popcorn as he was choking on his own bodily fluids that would never be something i would do i'm a go. better person than that there we go cry because i'm calling her a cunt also said because you want to know what happened to my daughter because she was on an antibiotic for her ear, she had a reaction to it. And she said, look, it because Rich took his medical advice and he regretted it. I don't care you're a female. Don't ever let me see you. You have nothing to worry about, but don't ever really see you face to face. So his vet wait. made his... Go ahead. Yeah, the ear... So his daughter had an ear infection. Yep. Took an antibiotic. Like, there are other treatments for it. I mean, antibiotics are the quickest. Yep. I mean, who was your ear, no- ear, nose, and throat specialist, Rich, for the kid? <laughs> who was the pediatrician? I just so, want to say. Was it the same guy who worked in Arkansas under Bill Clinton <laughs> and declared, like, the two boys who died on the train tracks of a marijuana overdose? <laughs> I just want to say that, like, I am just so proud of him for believing in equal rights that hard. He thinks that it's okay to beat women like it's okay to beat men. <laughs> like, I am just so proud of him for having equal rights to the, to abuse. <laughs> I, I, it makes me so proud that he is he believes in equal rights that much. Oh, it gets... uh, I mean, he he believes in equal rights, not in just on gender or race, but on ages too. He abuses <laughs> <his> kids. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> he abuses his parents. So <laughs> he's the most he's the most equal person out there. <laughs> he's the equalizer. <laughs> That's that could be his lockout name, the equalizer. <laughs> no, that would be his villain name, the equalizer. <laughs> I'm here to beat women. I'm here to beat women and give out free tech. That's infected with malware. <laughs> and I'm all out of tech. <laughs> I see you're a woman. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We're getting our movie references mixed here. <laughs> Worry about, but don't ever really see you face to face. So his vax made his... Do- he- so is this his biological nice and safe. daughter? We'll never meet. It'll stay that way, too, thankfully. So he vax max his daughter with the covid jab and then she went blind and then <laughs> someone made fun of him for doing that <laughs> i just really? love that it's his daughter <laughs> he's like he's a whammon hater his <laughs> <laughs> biological <laughs> daughter went by yeah dickers in his vax max suit. <laughs> unfortunately his daughter can't look smacks anymore since she's blind <laughs> Uh, would, <laughs> would you really want to as with that as your father bad one of them benson no i would be thanking god <laughs> to him that it would was make a curse, me a believer to her it was a blessing <laughs> i would that would that would be like one of those moments of like you know 
I was always upset going blind. Then I found out who my dad was. And then I <laughs> praised God for the I praised God for the the safety and the security oh. to, to take away my vision, so I didn't have to see it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Rich, just be happy that your kid doesn't go full Helen Keller at this point. And hater, his biological know, daughter that might be an upgrade. <laughs> And I bet you she's gonna be like the sweetest person ever, and we're gonna look like at Rich and be like, "You're really." Fun. Well, that's because Rich didn't raise her. <laughs> yeah, his parents did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fat fuck wouldn't even visit her in the hospital outside of three times in a year. No. Probably doesn't even visit her when when she's in the same house. No. <laughs> uh, Rich, your kids are crying. They're just right down the hallway. <laughs> I have to He's a whammon hater. His biological $50. daughter went b- bad at one of Van Benson. And he still trusts the science. Safe and effective. That's pretty that's pretty grim. I would never going blind is such a curse, you know? Not around this house. I enjoy using my eyeballs quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you pretty, get fly or no? Yeah. Well bad for her. Uh, oh. There's more videos. I'm enjoying this guy's content. This is good yeah. stuff. Look how fat that means he's, he's so fat and hateable too. Here we go. He's like bald, low T, fucking. There's something about the fact that like his mustache still has color to it, but his beard doesn't. That gives him this look where it's like he put his face up against a bear's Nell's audio asshole. cut out, or is that just me? It no, might just be you. You can't hear either. Okay, I no. wonder if I need to restart for you guys. Uh, stop there. <laughs> Let me. He fucking. There's something about the fact that like. Can you guys hear now? Yeah, we can hear it. All right. His mustache still has color to it, but his beard doesn't. That gives him this look where it's like he put his yeah, face bear, up yeah. against a bear's asshole, and now he's got, like, shitty bear fur, like, stuck to his upper lip after, like, <laughs> giving it a rim job or something. He just looks so gross and, and detestable. Trick donated $2. How does it mm. feel knowing that the six-figure income from YouTube is never coming back? How does it feel knowing that your antics online are going to be used to bully your kids in school? How does it feel knowing that all your fans hate your guts now? Ah, well, since none of that's true, I think it's all great. What a code. <laughs> this guy's pretending that he's going to make six figures a, a year off his YouTube shit? Or does he, is he implying that he still does? Like... He's had a he has a big YouTube channel. Someone said that his channel is bigger than Jim Sterling, who has a pretty big YouTube channel. Um, so how did he decline? Like, what did he start doing that pissed off his core audience? And because I'm curious, because like with Jim Sterling, you see his decline. You know, that's because he trooned out. He became super political. He stopped caring about video games, but still has to put on like a facade about caring about video games. Started injecting all this like wrestling bullshit into his fucking videos. That's just garbage. It's painful to watch. What did this guy do? All the exact same stuff. Swap out wrestling for commentary. Oh. Oh, we'll just add that to the apex. <laughs> stopped reviewing tech and acting like a retard. Okay, well, if he stopped reviewing tech, that would make sense. He started getting <laughs> high and eating edibles. He stopped doing the news and started streaming. Mm. In stage YouTube career when you start streaming. A weed addict. Boring streams. Stop posting daily clickbait content. He just gets stoned as fuck and rambles now. He just stopped making videos. Mm, that's what happened with Boogie. He just stopped making videos. Can't do that shit forever, I guess. Unless you really do treat it as a job. You know, it's an awful shame that Andy Worski is now sober. Well, I mean, here's the problem. Uh, like, I know how we always say that for, like, some of these people, like, it's a job. Yeah. But there really is no change up in profession. Like, Think about it. You're making content to entertain people and you're doing all the video editing, the script writing. Well, not rich in this case, but <laughs> usually if you're a YouTuber, you'd be doing it yourself or you would, you know, outsource it. If you're like, you know, not as talented, like where do you move on to like, you know, another profession within the same realm? You can't No. Yeah, it's non existent. Like, I mean, I could give up my job in the automotive industry, you know, as a welder and a fabricator and go do ship breaking. Yeah. You know, I could like literally travel the world on a fucking cargo ship doing repairs. Yep. And still be able to use all my training and whatnot. Yep. What could Rich fucking do? Nothing. 
Well, yeah. I mean, what can most normal YouTubers, like the ones who are trying to treat this as a job, do? Well, see, other normal YouTubers could shift into like editing. Yeah, yeah, they they could take they could take a step back from the spotlight and hone their skills by helping someone else out. Yeah, I mean, most have skills. Like Christ, I I can go back to my fucking, which is what I'm doing. I'm going back to school to finish a degree, no matter what. And I'm going to yeah. have database administration and everything else on top of I've already got some basics in programming and everything on top of I've got finance and uh, ERP, CRM stuff. And then I've also got an automotive background, too. Yeah, but like he has this nothing. the problem with a lot of these people is that it's the spotlight is yeah. what drove them to the job. It's the narcissism. Yeah. Like, yeah. So how do you downshift and take like the backseat approach? You can't. And remember, remember, the big it's thing. either this or go over a cliff. And Rich <laughs> is the perfect example of it. <laughs> oh, lead by example, Rich. Lead by example, please. Jesus. <laughs> well, actually, no, that's not true. I'm thankful. No, I would never want him to get a uh, bag of Coke with laced with fentanyl. I, we watched this already, but it's like <laughs> this guy knows how to not get banned on Twitter. I'm so, I just I have, to, I have to poach everything like that. I sure hope no boomers die. I sure hope nobody <laughs> died on the beaches of Normandy in vain. Man, I really enjoy uh, this person being alive. I hope nothing bad ever happens to them. I can just get around it that way. This guy's a master. I understand now. Rich says he got $400 tonight. So he got the money he wanted. I'm not, I'm not going to say how much money has come in tonight. I don't even know the actual amount. Uh, yeah, dude, you got it today because of what happened on Twitter. Wow. Like, okay, Jay. Let's just like, I don't like it. it again, it is not fucking jealousy, but it, even people who don't like me know that I know there's no way every stream is like this. Cause all, all 180 people watching it will be bankrupt. Just say, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got more than, um, sorry. Uh, just, we do know the full number. It's thirty five hundred. Yeah, and I'm thinking, given what happened recently, yeah, he got it because of Twitter, Rich, and he's gonna get like <laughs> five times as much the next time he fires up a stream. Yep, four hundred dollars tonight. I got more than a thousand dollars tonight. I got more than fifteen hundred dollars tonight. That's where. I'll uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that happened because you got pity bucks. Well done. He's reading his chat. Wait, yeah, Gundam was looking for a so weird cut. I was hoping there would be like a, a thought capped off on that. And somebody needs to go and take his keyboard away. Maybe his father could do it, or maybe his daughter that he should be taking care of should. <laughs> All of these people, if I have to, if I had to pretend to apologize to these people, I'd rather work at Walmart again. Eric. You're another one. I'll watch my words. Don't see me anywhere. Can you even work at Walmart? It, what's that? Can he even work at Walmart? <laughs> I'm sure they got a drug policy, so probably not. He supposedly, remember, yeah. he had a job. He was supposed to be yeah. working. I mean, just think about it. Like, what, what position could he be other than, like, the fucking Walmart greeter? <laughs> and even that's, like, a terrible fit for him. <laughs> there, there really isn't because i used to work for that company and it, you have to get piss tested when you get when you first get hired yeah so he can't go back there i i mean and, it, yeah it's i'm just talking about like what is he qualified to do he can't run a cash register because he can't work out a vape pen <laughs> he can't like stack shells because he's got like you know he can't the fuck quick enough I know he'll yeah. never be able to meet the production quote of doing anything in that store on a retail level. No. Yeah, and like even if he works in like the quote unquote tech department, he's fuck all useful in that. Kurt I mean, Wrangler. Kurt Wrangler yeah. would be the only thing he could do, and he would refuse no. it. I started I mean, out. I started out as that. There's no way he can. He does not have nah. the physicality for that, even with the cart pushing machine. <laughs> like I mean, I he can't. When he, I was 17, that. That he's, <laughs> the saltiest he's, Walmart greeter he's, ever. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Look, what he would have to be. They would have to make a position for him. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, think about it. It's like also being a janitor would be ruled out because he'd just be making fucking videos of what he found in the toilet. 
not just that, but like again, the janitors they have to walk around the entire store and clean stuff up. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't. He has but, to be stationary. <laughs> yeah, it's like if he's the Walmart greeter, the only thing I could think would happen is if it's that Family Guy bit of Dick Cheney being it. It's like, oh, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who walks in, he's like, go oh, fuck yourself. Very he'll true. Just sitting, he'll just be sitting there and it's like, welcome to Walmart and fuck it, but Eric. Well, oddly enough, Darkseid, he actually did work for Best Buy for a while. And, uh, and Walmart, too. Yeah, and Walmart, and he got let go or fired from both jobs. And no, he, he could not build a PC. I know you were saying you're catching up with the lore. Part of the lore is that uh, he cannot build a PC. When he had to build a PC, he had to have his dad come in, his daddy come in, and help him. Yeah. So his Mr. Review Tech fat. literally has failed on all portions of tech. And review, not to mention... And if US like the, Yeah, not to mention, like, if the current allegations are true, would you want him to be working for the Geek Squad? I mean, he'd be putting <laughs> key loggers in all the customers' computers. Oh, man. Can you imagine that? Like, see this this random person, Susan hacked me. <laughs> it wasn't just Jay; it's, it was Susan. There's a bully cabal after me. It goes from jokes and roasting to you saying that I should be taking care of my sick kid, who's taken care of. Me and the mother live in two separate houses. Keep Thank God my for that. fucking kid's name out of your mouth, because all right, Will Smith. <laughs> then you'll have to he, he worry. You, okay, he only said your daughter, not your daughter's name. No, no. Rich thinks he's above it because only he can talk about his kids. Only he can bring his kids on stream while talking about porn. Only he can do all this shit and cry about on a monetized video that he specifically stated was monetized. That about what happened with his daughter for money. It's okay for him to do all this stuff. Yeah, I just thought of something. Do you think that clip got to RTU? Because I, mean, I, I did tag him in that tweet. <laughs> I'm sure he did. I'm sure he, I'm sure someone in the Discord did or anything. People like him uh, do because they're narcissistic because they they thrive on this right now. That's why. Well, I mean, do you think he's something. like? Do you think he's like actually in a mental corner now because of the accusations? <laughs> and then there's like direct confirmation from the horse's fucking ass that he's that he said yes, the computer that was going to DSP went to J instead. Well, he, he probably has a secret Discord again, and he's probably like, Academics, please respond. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably pulling a more autistic version of Crowd. Oh my. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Shadow government, I need you. Well, he kind of already did do that because of the fucking kiwi farm stuff that got us here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, add another one. I'm just and I don't saying, think anyone like, here. I'm just saying, like, you know, he's probably like going over that, and his head's like, "How can I lie? Right? How can I spin this?" This man really did have every single lockout arc except for the puff arc. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Here, we'll hold that against me. What's this Shut kid's the name? Fuck up about my kid. What's this kid's name? This guy is so hard. This guy is acting so hard for a man that's so jiggly. He'd like bounce him up and down. He'd wiggle and wiggle for hours. Yeah, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Blinderina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's actually her name. <laughs> His tits are huge. His tits hang massive in the way that you would think gods as big. Muba, Dickers Jr., a tough puddin'. <laughs> Listen here, dickers. We're going to talk about Blind Arena all we want to. Blinderella. <laughs> Don't try to stop us. You should be taking care of Blinderella. I like this canon name of her. At this point, I'm going to burn everything to the ground to make money in the process. Prepare for my internet, lowercase i, internet demise to come in a spectacular fashion. I'm fucked anyway. Might as well make it profitable. The gee golly, things are going great facade is getting old. Yeah, I think uh, we need to rework the underpants no meme for Rich here. Because, <laughs> I mean, that right there just sums up as like, 
set set self an entire career on fire. <laughs> Two. Step three, profit. <laughs> My name. It sounds a lot like the uh the the God, what was the name of that fuck? Can I just say every time I watch Maddie, he gets donations like this. Three hundred dollars. Rich would only dream of donations like that coming through. I think video... that's one stream. That was all of Rich's stream. <laughs> yeah. One day. That was like, three quarters a of a five-hour stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a single donation to Null. Yeah. Like, one. There's multiple of these sometimes. Yeah. A game that piss everybody off. My name is not important. What's important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate these a -Rons. Dude, you can see his nipples. Here you can see his nipples. Here we go. Like, look, you, can, you can see his big nipple right there. They're so big. He's got like proper, like, like massive, like titties. And he's like, it, he's got like milk coming out. It's like wet. That's where his nipples are. <laughs> That's really fucking gross, chat. That's pretty gnarly. I didn't want to see that, but I just saw that, and it disgusts me. Well, I mean, that's uh, usually awesome. the side effect of being a stoic-filled bitch. So. Okay, so Andy Worski apparently dropped a bombshell uh, that the uh, originally Review Tech USA bought a computer. Here we go. This this is the best. And he was going to send it to Darkside. Phil, um, Review Tech USA decided that he was going to uh, troll Darkside Phil by installing key loggers and, and backdoors and rats. Uh, onto his computer, said that once he started using it, Review Tech would be able to snoop through his files and become the ultimate uh, DSP A log. Um, <laughs> however, that did not happen. So instead of sending it to uh, DSP, he sent it instead to his editor, Jay. So what he is indicating is that he has had access to Jay's computer without his knowledge uh, for some time and has been able to rummage through it and find access to his. Uh, um, do his porn folders and stuff like that. Uh, is that illegal? Yes, it is. It is a violation of the Computer Fraud and Abuses Act of 1983, I want to say. Um, the computer, the, the hacking bill that the U.S. had, which is called the, the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act or whatever, the CFAA, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, um, is very broad. From what I understand, what I remember, any kind of unauthorized access to any computer is technically hacking. So it's not like you have to circumvent any kind of security measure. It's kind of like trespass, where even if the door is unlocked and you just let yourself in, um, that is a form of uh, trespass, breaking and entering even. Um, so yeah, giving a guy a computer without with a, a rat on it and accessing it without his knowledge or permission, that's hacking in the same way that breaking into um, uh, a you know, Amazon computers and leaking stuff is, is hacking. It's the... And by the way, for anybody well, who doesn't know, the rat is a remote access terminal is what he's talking about. Yeah. The rat lines. Um, Rich I was going to say, a rat. <laughs> I know he's bringing up the CFAA, but that's an American uh, act or law, basically. Would it even apply to Canada? Probably because it, he, he gets into in all of it. That was... He was sent here. It was sent there, but he gets into all of it. The same thing. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. That's right. Because the crime isn't like when it happens. It's the origin point too. Yeah, and I just want to say too. I'm surprised he doesn't remember that law being signed. Like he remembers the Atari 2600. <laughs> <laughs> See, I grew up with the CFAA. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> On computers and leaking stuff is is a hacking. It's the same thing. So uh, Jay has actually been compromised like that, and if Review Tech is threatening to extort him, uh, those are both like interstate felonies. I think that um, the complication here is that Review Tech is Canadian, he I believe, wrong, but his chat and Jay so. is American. Um, but I am I would almost guarantee that the Canadians. Well, have like I can forgive Josh no or Null for like thinking that you know Review Tech's Canadian. After all, <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> they don't, and there's no way that like it's just the way that installing a remote control access device on a computer and accessing a person's computer as like a Trojan horse um, without their permission is blatantly unethical and almost certainly illegal no matter the jurisdiction so oh other way around so review tech is canadian 
or uh, is American and Jay is Canadian. Well, then he's even though Jay is Canadian, he can still file a police report. Um, if he, this guy actually has broken into his computer, he should. I think the way that it usually works is that um, he would have to. Cause I've dealt with this before when I was dealing with um, foreigners going after my family and stuff. Uh, you should both contact your local law enforcement and also the uh, and then get like a case number or like a report or an incident report number, and then also submit that to the FBI or I think the FBI would be the appropriate um, person for this. And then submit your, like your local police report and say like, this American has uh, backdoored me, is extorting me. And well, like, don't, don't. Go ahead. I would say not just the FBI, but the FCC. Because, I mean, we're dealing with the internet here. Uh, federal communications yep. you um, even go to would FTC have... TC as well. Yeah. yeah, because it is a business too. But yeah. the FCC mm-hmm. would be the ones that'd be hand on, hands on for like any like um uh you know fuck anything that deals with the internet would go through them. Like FBI would deal with the crime part, like in the charging. However, the FCC would be the one to file the complaint to get it like you know boosted up yep. through like the chain of command and so forth. And they might actually take it up because. Why not? Chances of that are low because the federal government is useless and doesn't really do anything that doesn't benefit it politically. But sometimes I don't know. I mean, if they could put rich behind bars, they would have to. They could sidestep like you know disability payments. (laughs) I I think that would be in their purview. Yeah, Uh, and depending on you know if certain political parties get elected, it would be a nice easy win for the government. (laughs) <laughs> like just for the publicity front, like feds take down abusive YouTuber. Look, we're the good guys. We promise. <laughs> oh man, I want to show something been... very funny here. This is how much of a fucking idiot and a goddamn retard this man is. <laughs> oh, oh, Shadow too. I saw in chat uh, they were asking if he really had uh, kids on his Dropbox. Yes, and it actually was. His ex's kids, like his stepkids. Yeah. He mm-hmm. knew them personally. Check, check. Ah, there I am. Isn't that a nice picture of uh, Mr. Worski there? And of course, the beat is still playing. Hello, everybody. Is my voice synced? I checked it beforehand. Why are you getting <laughs> pictures of grown men in their underwear? So today was an yeah. interesting day. Um, remind you also to remind everyone, uh, he also has, will admit here to having the video of PPP's ass. Yeah, I mean, look, Rich, I mean, there's a scale for a Calvin Klein model. Worski's in the middle. Where the fuck do you fit in? <laughs> Sumo wrestler. Oh, man. And that's why there's a scale. <laughs> yeah, well, so his me- starts with the first word of Richter. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be bovine. So today was an interesting day. Um, So someone told me that Jay was talking. All right, I got to reset the fucking soundboard. Okay, 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 okay. So I need to preface this. I was going to cover this stuff, but it is entirely, it's getting entirely too late to be continuing to cover this stuff. So if I have to, I'll come back to this, but I just want to show something funny here. But basically what what uh, preempted this, this five hour fucking stream is uh, Jay had a stream earlier in the day. This is after uh kino casino had their stream that i covered on my last stream where uh they exposed all the computer scandalous stuff and everything else uh jay had a stream kind of going over a bunch of that information confirming denying certain parts of it and everything else rich was in the uh (laughs) rich acts like a 14 year old girl that's an insult to 14 year old girls he acts like a seven year old boy which is the exact that dark side flow (laughs) what's up dude (laughs) shadows and chat asking if they were like old pictures and i would they were right but they were in like swimsuits in a folder alongside pornography Uh, allegedly allegedly there is conflicting stories between uh keto casino saying that they were in the porn folder and then for whatever reason i don't know if it's maybe for posterity that jay kind of backtracks and says well they weren't necessarily in the porn folder, so... But uh, Rich Rich goes on to do this genius fucking move, right? He fires up this stream, and he's like, I'm going to make all you guys pay. Why that's doing that, I don't know, because the song was far away from playing. 
you hear it in the background slightly if you have headphones on? And it's still, yes, I know I need drivers. We'll deal with that later. Um, here it is. Why is it a different color? Review Tech USA, everybody. And listen, review, pat me on the back, and it's completely unnecessary because this shouldn't be a thing. I'm completely sober for a stream. It's not working. It's frozen solid. What? <laughs> This is sober rich. Apparently. Bobby, I'm here for you. Oh, Billy. Oh. Uh, yeah, thank you for saying that beat was terrible. Uh, it wasn't mine. Rich Eats Ass USA. So wait, you, you would eat my ass? Yeah, of course you could be a mod. I thought you were a mod already. Um, so I want to say something too. Uh, these videos I'm going to show tonight, uh, I have in numerous cloud storage places. And if that fails, I have them on a thumb drive for... Okay, we're going to play the shell game. You guys are aware of the shell game, right? yeah okay basically <laughs> you, you have three shells there's you put something under one and you just shuffle it around and you get to pick yeah yeah watch do you want to watch rich lose a shell game in real time it takes oh, only minutes <laughs> that fails i have them on a thumb drive for safekeeping the internet never forgets neither does this thumb drive check the files too before i pulled it out to make sure nothing corrupted so they are they are immortalized by richard masucci <laughs> oh yeah the girl i spit on that dick and stuck on it oh uh, she's gonna have a lot to explain at family barbecues this summer anyway uh can i be a mod yes juicy boots dropping the spell g mcfly thank you very much uh, also jay i want to thank you for saying if you watch rich you're an idiot even when you were completely vile towards me my audience even the people well maybe the people who don't like me would just pretend that i did say it i've never once tried to divide our audience you did holy shit you've been a member for 32 months thank you dude getting this out of the way real quick yeah, he could. Yeah, and then he tries to act same like Jay. That's why him and Jay are best buddies. They act one way on the surface, and then Jay is literally behind the scenes or not behind the scenes. He actually said in the live stream before I said anything to Jay, I didn't know this though. So admittedly, I did not know he said this. I got angry at him and said one day there may be a concerned citizen that calls about the actions he has done for his film. And then he said, "Few of the people I work with on films are cops." I'm gonna let you know something abundantly cl clear right now, and you could tell them this. I don't fucking care about your cop friends. I never threatened you, and they could go fuck off if they still have a problem with it. So you could bundle that up. You know what? Take a clip, put it on, put, make, make like a present for them. Like when you know that little mini TV that everyone's doing the shorts on right now, show them that. And then they could extradite me to Canada. Good luck with the legal advice, by the way, especially after what I show tonight. That again, is nice and safely stored on here and other places too. So there's there, there's that. Hi everyone. <sighs> Mr. Underscore G underscore Wait, point so... 6969 donated $50. Oh, hey Rich Carrot What did he say was on the thumb drive? All, all the stuff that he's going to show on this stream, all his evidence of their wrongdoings is on this thumb drive. This is his backup, just in case they try and hack his computer or some shit. That's his logic here, right? So he showed well, the thumb drive. I mean, drive, Rich. Placed the thumb drive like, down for... and showed it one more time. Rich, that's really fucking dumb. First off, you sent Jay the computer. He didn't send you dick. Yeah. <laughs> but that's his logic. Is He's acting like they're going to hack him or something, or somebody's going to hack him. So that's why he's going to have it backed up on an offline source, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, I've heard of fishing links before, but not whaling links. <laughs> Harpooning. <laughs> Hopefully your daughter is getting better. All the best wishes from Bavaria, Germany. Keep on streaming you, hashtag man. feels good man bleed purple corgi derp curse lit. What the, the ending was, I, I think you meant something, but Streamlabs turned it into dirt. And even though you didn't ask, you get the shirt off. You know what? With what I have on my computer and my thumb drive tonight, I could have nipple clamps on. And I don't think people are, and I will thank Jay for something. This is why I apologized. He exonerated me of all the pedo bullshit. Now people are going to believe it anyway because th those people hate me and want to believe whatever they want to believe. But he did do that. I will give him that. And I apologize. I'm like, you know what? Let's, even though we will never like each other again, to smooth out the tension, I apologized. And well, then like Jay Rich, fucking squandered the whole goddamn. I'm just going to say it. The only nipple clamps you <laughs> should ever wear is a pair of jumper cables. <laughs> also, this is. So your argument is that people are calling you a, a pedophile, right? Because you have these images of your stepkids. Yes. Yep. And your argument is to immediately talk about nipple clamps and immediately go to sex. Yes. While while dis like trying to uh, deny the claims of sexual impropriety. Yep. With same, like, I just same guy that also sat there and said that you know the lolly stuff was also creepy had a a discord server that had a nsf channel filled with it he's the logic really tracks a, a child <laughs> like like his entire brain is hardwired around fart jokes yes and sex yep like he's literally like the 12 year old turbo virgin yep 
Like it, it's just remarkable. Like I just don't I don't understand how how you can how you can be a person like this. <laughs> I can't even find the word that just baffles me. And Dark like, Yep, you're right. You're right. Jay didn't exonerate anything. Jay never made any statement. And Rich, his proof here, it is five hours of horseshit. It is other fucking horseshit. I watched most of the stream. Admittedly, I had to fall asleep because I could not stand. Real time Rich is awful. <laughs> Jay said he had pictures of his daughters in the same folder. Okay. Okay. It, Do you literally have to watch Rich through like the lens of like watching us or like watching Kino? You cannot just watch Rich on his own. You need like actual no. like funny commentary over it. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'd be really fucking hilarious if there was going to be a Jim Can't Swim episode on Rich. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be a fucking Netflix documentary. <laughs> I mean, they could just start a series now of like social media celebrities and their downfalls. Like episode one could be Nick Ricada, episode two yep. could be like Richard Mussolini. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wouldn't be episode one. It'd be season one, fucking Chris Chan. <laughs> then you'd have season two, Nick Ricada. <laughs> then season three, Rich. Yeah. And then yeah, Wings, yeah. then Boogie, and so on. And Dick, I'm still researching you, buddy. Yeah. Because like, we're heading to the point now with social media that like some of these like early celebrities, like, you know, like EDP and shit like that, are starting to have a lot of really dark controversies similar to like the entertainment industry. Well, yeah, because it's been like what, almost twenty years since like this shit even started? Yeah, around that. Yeah, so that's usually the time frame of when these kinds of stories would come out in like the music and uh movie industry. Yeah, so it just tracks, and it's even less because there's, like, it's personal. Like, there's not these big production companies, you know? Yeah, and, I mean, stuff. there's, like, a there's actually, like, more evidence. Like, there's so much of it because of a fucking digital footprint. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we see Whereas everything like, else like, is, like, hearsay or eyewitness shit. This is, like, 100% can be tracked with zeros and ones, bitch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's all, and it's all archived. All of it. <laughs> Like, remember you know, that that should be the name of the series the internet is forever <laughs> and remember we're still playing the shell game by the way guys or no infinite <laughs> infinite yeah, i that, like that or, yeah <laughs> infamy infinite infinite internet yep. you know yep either that or something call it like archived <laughs> you know what i mean it's just like you know the tragic fall of social media celebrities oh. You know what I mean? And then you just make, like, an entire series. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That, that's what it should be. It's like, they, they, like, if they're still around, like, they could have their say, but at the same time, they'd be pressed with all the fucking evidence. Yep. Same thing within 90 seconds. Some of you were there. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, tits. There you go. You See? do? <laughs> Again, I'm not a pedophile. Let me take my shirt off and make Yo, it sexual. and he was like, oh, look, you're flip-flopping. Yep. I'm like, wait a second. Did you bait me into apology? And you said you would call the truce, and then you were sitting there calling me a fat fuck that I would have to get there in a wheelchair. I, I would have to walk to you in a wheelchair. Like, do you think after, I'm like, yeah, yes, Jay. I, I, I... Rich, for once, take this fucking serious. <laughs> well, like, no, you know, there's a thing. Understand how wheelchairs work. <laughs> okay, like, I, I just want to posit, like, something here. This might be just my own, like, you know, tired, fucked up, I, you know, thoughts right now. Because it's like, what, 2.30 in the morning? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Given how fucking crazy Rich is, and given how high he can get, <laughs> and given his proclivities to like chickens, horses, and breasts and whatnot, yep. how much do you want to? He's pulled. How much you want to bet he's pulled like a Family Guy where Peter tries to breastfeed Stewie to I... one of his kids? <laughs> I was about to say that during the whole daughter segment, but I never did. <laughs> That's been something I've watched that video twice now and thought, what? Well, would he do if she just latched on <laughs> she would probably throw up like immediately well no it's like what would he do not she it's like yeah. would he allow it to continue or would he like no oh, stop it's, and yeah. then continue talking about sex workers <laughs> oh, just, i guess like you could like say dying. all these things to me no you f 
fucking reject. I'm going to come in on you tenfold. This is Rich coming Tell in your conference about it. Let them know. In, I know, in look, Canada, I know there's Rich, a bunch of giant... You're using the wrong version of tenfold. Tenfold means ten times, not ten <laughs> rolls under your belly. <laughs> right, and, and, like, like, I don't understand. Like, he, he just flings off his shirt. It's like, your people are calling you a pedophile. Yeah. Take it seriously for once. This is... For fucking once. Drop the sex jokes. Drop the fart Drop humor. the bit. <laughs> and yeah, like you need to know when to to be a shit poster. And like when somebody is saying you have and a like you know pictures of your stepkids that you physically and personally knew, now is not the time <laughs> to be making sex jokes. Now is the time to like be denying it and saying you know like I'm sorry that you know it happened. Like you know I had pictures of that. I didn't realize it. Like it. They were my, I thought they were like my kids, you know, I, so of course I have family memories of it taken, <laughs> not, you know, be like, lol, look at my, look at my man tits. Like, <laughs> take it serious for fucking once. Yeah. Like, this is serious. And like, these are your stepkids. Like, you did love them at one point, right? Like, don't do well, this to them. I don't know if he wants like, to admit to that. Probably not like you know well, like what, wait well hold on Jim we have to answer, love. like Jim we have to we have to answer like one serious question for that to even to before we even approach that what is love in Rich's mind oh, unconditional god. ball washing oh god I immediately went to baby don't hurt me and it applies here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no no that's that's where I well, thought you not, were going with it I thought you were going it. with the song like no 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 I, I did that as like a, as an aside like you know bait and switch yeah. <laughs> like oh my yeah. she's up there is it like is there the hurt feelings police I mean, I don't know in the future, man. With this little clip I have of you doing a call to action, I'm not saying it's me, it won't be me, but they'll be a concerned citizen maybe be short for in the future for you and your cop friends. If you ever get on a film set, they're going to, I don't know, there may be someone, a woman, a man, a kid, who may just be concerned about you because you are a disingenuous fucking asshole. You know, Rich, you, you may be you the one just... concerned citizen for Jay, but there's like at least a, the entire fucking internet who's going to be the concerned citizen about you. Yep stopped it right i there. mean th i mean this isn't sparta here you know <laughs> where it's like 300 versus 3 million yeah it's it's quite literally one man versus a fucking tidal wave that's going to <laughs> suck him out into the pacific or the atlantic oh man oh yeah he definitely is manic right here darksy <laughs> but i don't think you want to because you get more money this way you did say in the stream i just want to have fun with you guys Hey, Jay, you know what? Since you're doing this for me and exonerated me and you said there was nothing even remotely close to anything of child pornography on my fucking Discord, so let's do it water under the bridge. We'll never like each other. Ah, uh, you're waving the white flag. Look, and he said Andy Worski. You said Andy Worski. You're affiliated with him. That's going to go on the thumb drive, too. You should tell your cop friends. Get, to, get the handcuffs. Get the handcuffs. I'm out lawyering up. Uh... <laughs> Wait, you, know who, you know who says they're going to lawyer? Uh, how is being friends with Andy a conflict of fucking interests? <laughs> I is, don't know. Is that what he's going for here? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to keep your eyes out of the drive. <laughs> what, does he toss it and he has to get up and find it again? <laughs> keep watching. Or publicly? People who aren't going to lawyer up. Anyway. Uh, and if he does, man, and you're making wait, a documentary wait, 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 don't with the tell devil. me. He breaks the fucking end of it like an idiot. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, well, there, there goes the thumb drive. He Make sure you put this in the document. Huh? It's like he killed it with his thumb. By, you know, <laughs> <laughs> too. Please refute it. You were never under a contract with me. You could have left at any time. You were working on YouTube with me where there are people that are literally begging, begging for an editor. Why did you stay with me then? Come on. I asked to come on your show. We could have talked about things. You said, why don't you want to? I don't know. You're like, you sounded like every other grifter. I have this damning evidence. All right, let's discuss it. No. Really? Rich? You should, you should tell your cop friends about it. Oh, 14 sorry, years of service to your fat ass. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes him a grifter. Like, yeah. no, this is a legit change of perspective of you. Yeah. He didn't just like get hired on for two weeks and is like, oh, fuck, I'm going to leak everything. Here's the thing, too. If I remember right, him and Worski fell out. He only reconnected with andy 
because of you, Ridge. Yeah, yeah. They were going after. If you go all the way back to one of my previous streams where I covered uh, actually uh, Tubble Lard here and Jay, they, they, <laughs> got, uh, they got kind of scammed by uh, a fake pantsuit and a fake Ethan Ralph stuff. And Jay was there for that. That was the last thing I know I that they that. did together. Oh, shit. And, <laughs> and, and, and the Kino, Kino, Morris. Yeah. Like, he said he got the Ralph interview. Yeah, and Kino Casino went after him. They, they, he, he basically was making a big deal. He's like, we got Pantsu and asking all these incriminating questions about Ralph. It was somebody, I think, still to this day from Pot Awful that fucking suckered this stupid ass. And Jay knew it. And Jay kept telling him, stop, 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 stop. And he kept going, kept going. And Kino Casino got a hold of it. And they were like making fun of Jay and Rich. I mean, look, Rich, if you wanted to interview Ethan Ralph, I mean, you're already on track to be fleeing to Mexico soon enough. <laughs> oh, man. Just look in a mirror. <laughs> I mean, fire up a stream with Jay. Maybe Mundane Matt will host it. Oh, man. I didn't even get into the Mundane Matt arc. <laughs> he, did with, he did with Jim and Ralph. Maybe you could, uh, you know, have Mundane Matt. Well, he's already got the connection there with Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Just get ready, Rich. Who makes the... Homes with you. <laughs> Please don't arrest me, officers. I hurt your buddy's feel. I hurt your uh, business partner's feelings. I, I am not manic at all, and I am actually completely sober. Hi. Remember I said I promised I'd start being sober on streams? Here I am. Man so, uh, mania and oh, wow, there's actually people here today. Different. So uh, let's begin. You yeah. know, here's so the, the thing. He's, actually... he's acting like fucking Nick Ricada. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Like, Nick coming back and acting manic and all the shit. Yeah, he, you are manic, Rich. We, and manic doesn't necessarily also mean intoxicated, Rich. Like, that's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Manic means that you're firing off on all cylinders and none of the synapses are going to the right place. For all we know, you have bipolar and you're having an episode. That very well could be. You know, not to, you know, I won't shit on your mental health. I can't say that Patrick won't take some jabs at it. Because <laughs> I know he's raring to go. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing, Jim. For him to have mental health, he'd have to have a brain. That's true. We, you know who we need? Mr. Mental Health himself. <laughs> Jerry Banfield. <laughs> Oh fuck, yeah, I I would pay to see the the rich the uh, review tech USA Jerry Banfield fucking music arc, you know. <laughs> Just imagine, I, like I took. Review Tech USA to McDonald's. <laughs> and he didn't just order a Happy Meal. He ordered everything. You know, I just thought of something. The, f <laughs> the, pe the three people who should do like a fucking traveling podcast of some sort <laughs> should be like RTU, Nick Ricada, and Andy Dick. <laughs> the three amigos. And have the driver be Blade. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, play. About Jay. Now, here is the thing. I did leave him messages after I found out he was talking shit on Twitter again. And I'm like, I'm not I took the app off my phone again. I like even with the stuff I didn't people have been sending me screen caps, he's still talking. And I haven't been a, so I see what he's saying. And I said, Jay, you know what? Since you're really pretty much putting out bullshit out there about me, what would happen one day? Maybe I'll be a concerned citizen, maybe a Karen. And I'll put out the stuff that you did. And what are your law enforcement friends going to do with I'm about to show with the call to action? Which I wasn't going to show. If you just simply accepted the apology that I really didn't want to give, it was like, I don't feel sorry. But if it means that we could both just hate each other and move on and ignore each other, great. You didn't choose that path. I think on purpose because this is profitable for you. But I'm here for it. Absolutely. Is this going to be an everyday thing? Nah, I'm going to play some Elden Ring soon. I don't know about tonight, but I'm going to play it soon. I want to play the DLC. I actually didn't play it, so I'll play it on stream. I was tempted to last night. If, you people, if anyone was in Discord, they could vouch that I said that. But tonight we have a lot to go over. The Discord Quick one from you Jay. Damning, though. <laughs> uh, we have a whole video exposing, I think, Andy Warski from Kino Casino. Uh, we have the butthole from the pastor. I can't really show that, but we have it. Um, I It would have taken, like, I don't have the time. So, dude, even for that short clip to, like, blur out his ass, 
would have been like <sighs> se seven hours worth of work. I wasn't spending it on PPP's ass. Thank you. <laughs> two things. One, stop flopping that, that fun. I it's, like it's like around like it's your belly button penis. Two, genuinely Rich asking. Is exposing all and, oh, of yeah. them for things that were in the past. <laughs> like, like, congratulations! You're exposing PPP starfish incident. Eight years later, seven years, like, like Wonder. I don't know how long. Like, you're exposing the coke addiction that Andy Worski had publicly said he had, and he's sober from. Now you know why I did this stream, stream, Jim. I dug up like, his past to show everything that he's talked about and he's done that he says he's innocent of, including that yeah, fucking he, computer. Rich. That's that's the thing too, though. They've <laughs> everything that he has on them. They've already accepted the fact that they were wrong and moved on. Yeah. And oh, he yeah. doesn't deny the aim, aim, aim thing anymore. He's apologized for it. He doesn't deny the coke addiction. He apologized and got sober. Yeah. PPP has been on record saying the starfish thing was stupid because it fucked him with his, his relationship with his church. And he regrets doing it. You're exposing things that aren't, aren't like, private. It's not an exposed thing. They've already no. dealt with no. it. And, no, his, his thumb drive of evidence is shit that we already knew. <laughs> Congratulations. Found the Kiwi Farms like 12 years too late. Yeah, well, not only that, not only that, he just basically learned how to search on YouTube finally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe next week he'll learn Discord finally. <laughs> Blur out his ass would have been like <sighs> se seven hours worth of work. I wasn't spending it on PPP's ass. Thank you. <laughs> Two things. One, stop flopping that fun. It's it's like around like it's your belly button penis. Two, genuinely asking. Had, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, because a person a person who I ended up blocking because they were a psychopath who looked at me like their daddy because they have daddy issues. Uh, was doing a mass flagging campaign to get about it. Shout out to someone who I won't mention who got me a uh, uh, mirror of the stream. So it is gone, but not gone and not forgotten. And I will have clips up on the main channel of that stream. So the stream isn't gone. Someone was hurt Has by the things that I said. You know, on the main the... channel, huh? Has he put clips up on the main channel of this stream? He got I... a mirror of. I haven't looked, but it would be hilarious if it came from my other account. <laughs> I mean, look because he doesn't have a J to do it for him, so I don't know if he would have done it. I doubt his mods would do it for him. Because yeah, here's the main. We have Skip it a button. That Abby has text. We've surpassed. Yeah. Our feud is done. Look at videos. Yeah, his most recent one's from a month ago. They're all older. No, like, uh, go to the videos tab and look, because that usually just shows... Yeah, normally the first video is the most recent, though. Yeah, fucking nothing. Okay, Rich, you're lazy <laughs> as ever. Go back to the home tab. I thought I saw Jay's account there. Skip it up and down. Scroll down. Keep going. Yeah. Great YouTubers. <laughs> Jay, the guy he's currently warring with. <laughs> Oh, this motherfucker has abandoned his main channel. <laughs> Woman who told me that I should commit suicide and get would send me the rope, Actually, but I'm too fat. It's Jay's uh, also said, yeah, <laughs> that well, is true. Jay's copyright. <laughs> yes, yeah, so technically it is Jay's channel. So that yeah. I was the one who made my daughter sick, you know. But I'm supposed to. But I'm. But I'm. I, I, I had to, you know, re restrain myself with that one. Uh, Ape at Eric said I should take care of my daughter. I'm supposed to hold back with these people. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, make fun of the beat that's not lying, right. and then have a Griselda come speak to you, Richie yeah. Tess. <laughs> They'd have a word for you, and that beats fire, by the way, and I could say that because it's not mine. Uh, I'm a naked, beautiful man. I, Siler, check out Fuego by OT The Real. It's fucking amazing. So, you could say I'm bipolar. Uh, you could say whatever the fuck you want to about me, but uh -oh. the reality of uh -oh. it is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ, take all of just go. Uh-oh. This is all I mean. Jesus Christ. Is, is this uh -oh. sped up? Nope. Well, barely. Barely. This is that one. His head movement. <laughs> because, like, I was going to say, at 1.25, his head movements look like a fucking pigeon looking for a piece of bread. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? know about me. But the reality of it is. Looking for it. Where'd that go? Where'd all my evidence go? Where'd that just go? What happened to it, Rich? Where's the evidence? I'm just this is all evidence. Was that, that was all evidence. <laughs> he never had the thumb drive to begin with. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he just. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He beat himself. He beat his own ass. <laughs> anyway, I'm not mad. There's nothing wrong with me. Where the fuck did that thing I had five minutes go? <laughs> he's sober. He's sober by his own admission.
No question. So what... we, I, I don't recall this <laughs> seeing it. Did we actually see the thumb drive? <laughs> uh, technically, he was waving something around. Yeah, because, yeah. He I mean, here's the thing: drive. he shows he... it three times and <laughs> loses it. I mean, okay. Here's the I thing: just... he put it down, then he took a shirt off. What? What? What's the chances of it is just being in a shirt? No, you want well, to know just... what happened to it? I can show you. What? Hold on, we'll go back. I just I needed to know because like it is like is the thumb drive in the room with us, Rich? Can I talk to the <laughs> thumb drive? Yeah, who's <laughs> hallucinating an object in the room here? Us or him? Yeah, I just I need to make sure I'm not gaslighting myself again like I did with the the uh <laughs> stream the blood sports stream the other <laughs> the other week. But I'm like I promised it happened and it was like four and a half hours later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I bet you it was in his shirt. Nope. It gets Yo, better. and he, he was like, oh, look, you're flip-flopping. I'm like, wait a second. Did you bait me in truce? And then you were sitting there calling me chair. Like, do you think after, I'm like, yeah, yes, Jay. I, I, I guess so you could say all these things to me. No, you fucking reject. Friends about it. Let them know. It, 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 in Canada, I know there's a bunch of giant pussies up there. Is it like, is there the hurt feelings police? I mean, I don't know in the future, man. With this little clip I have of you right doing here. a call Watch to it. action. Watch it. Keep your eye on it. I'm not saying it's me. It won't be me. He but don't be it. a concerned citizen, maybe, be short for in the future. For you oh and God. your cop friends, if you ever get on a film set, they're going to, I don't know. There may be someone, a woman, a man, a kid, who may just be concerned about you because you are a disingenuous fucking asshole. Well, look. Jim, or not Jim, <laughs> <laughs> fucking rich. I I wouldn't I wouldn't say I wouldn't talk bad about the Mounties up there. I mean, fuck, they have horses. I think you'd like get on your hands and knees if they came to arrest you for other reasons. All right, all well, right. I'm just glad the thumb drive existed, and that wasn't just <laughs> me imagining it. Here's the last like, time. Have... Here's the last time you see the thumb drive. Watch what happens. Said Andy Worski, you're affiliated with him. That's going to go on the thumb drive, too. You should tell your cop Watch friends. It. Get, to, get the handcuffs. Watch it. Get the handcuffs. I don't think he ever caught it. He never it. caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I oh thought God. he threw it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's funnier, that or the, the head cannon I had thought of. Because <laughs> could you imagine if he took it? He took his shirt off, it got crumpled in the shirt, and he just <laughs> the laundry and he put it in the wash and he washed the thumb drive and destroyed it. And that was his only and copy. There was, <laughs> yes, there went his evidence. Oh, you can't yeah. get it because it's on this thumb drive and he inadvertently <laughs> destroys the thumb drive. <laughs> like, that would be the, the funniest ending. <laughs> Fuck you want to about me, but the reality of it is... Totally sober. Totally sober. Where'd that just go? <laughs> this is all evidence. Oh, oh well. <laughs> he lost the cell game to himself. Too. Anyway, so let's begin, right? So, Jay, you know, <laughs> you should show your cop friends this. It's very important that you show them this. All right, yeah, good thing I, they didn't show the thumb because then you would have seen PPP's asshole. I should have thought about that. So, <laughs> here is the first video. Now, this what is has... Jay during... Now, hold on. Pause one second. Why am I telling you to hold on like you were saying something? The context of this, okay? <laughs> this is during Jay's live stream when I was live streaming. Now, even though I didn't know about this at the time, this was before I said a concerned citizen may talk about the things that he said on stream. Now, this was before it, but I didn't know about it being fully transparent. So... I was going to keep this in my pocket after I heard Jay was going to squash all of the stupid fucking allegations against me, but then he blew it. Anyway, let me uh, switch the screen. I almost forgot. Totally sober, though. <laughs> oh, man. That's all I have of that.